Hello everyone, Eric and Joedja here with a uh, close friend Romeo's telling me he got top eight at the uh, Dark vs. Light uh, Feels Good Gaming Tournament tournament in uh, Maryland. So why don't you go ahead and tell us what you played? Yeah, I played uh, Hero Frog. I think it's the best deck. I think it's got really good matchups into Blackwing uh, and Lightstorm, just a lot of the meta, uh, Body Turbo, all that stuff. So standard, you know, two Treeborn, uh, three subs to Toad. This card's incredible. Dupe Block's too good. People do ignorant stuff when they see that. Um, just incredible. Uh, triple Swap Frog, uh, just the best opener to have, uh, turn one, just gets the whole engine going, and when you have it with Stratos, it's even better. Uh, Unifrog, because we need to turn off stuff like Oppression and Black Whirlwind, and, you know, just ha leaving this in deck after the whole Frog combo, getting up Dupe Block, being able to follow up with this turn two by tributing off the Treeborn is just really, really powerful. Um, and then, you know, obviously for the lock, we got the two... Rana Imbrogliona, Dupe Frogs, uh, cards dumb. It does miss timing, but like who cares? Cause it's, it's not the good effect. Uh, then onto the Monarchs. We got three Caius, you know, must have best Monarch. Uh, we're only on one Ryza. Um, I didn't want to have the tributes too high. Cause like we're also running the uh, hero tribute malicious edge. Um, so this felt really good. Uh, Ryza is not as powerful as Caius because a lot of times, you know, you want to Caius a Christia and not it, not Ryza it or something like that, you know. Um, for the hero package, you got one Alias, one Prodigy, one Stratos, one Ocean, and one Malicious Edge. Um, you don't want to overdo it on this package in this deck because, like, seeing the frogs and some tribute summons are really, really the most important thing. You know, the 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 most. The, the best feeling opening in this is like Swap and Stratos where you can just get the whole engine turned on by searching Ocean, pitching it for Swap, sending Treeborn, and then you have the water and the hero and grave for your miracles. And then Swap can even bounce us back and just create so much advantage. And then like if you don't have like a Tribute Summon or a Monarch, like searching this is super powerful. Um, if you're afraid of your opponent turning off your Treeborn, searching this is also just incredible. Uh, this can set up Dupe Lock with Substitute and yeah, it's just everything connects with everything super super well in this deck uh the yeah it's super nice one gore is for protection um you just need it i'm not playing trag uh just because i don't think it's as good as gores in this format or just this deck where i don't have like a huge hand all the time gores is just the modern needed. sky striker special yeah exactly <laughs> uh a little interesting i'm on two junk synchron I think this card's crazy good um especially you know it's cut pretty standard for hero frogs to run one I think a lot of times when people see it, uh, they stop considering it, but they're thinking about it before they see it. So when you play one and they out whatever synchro it is, and then you can play the other, they usually are pretty taken aback, and it, this wins a lot of games playing the second one. It, it's hard for them to get a ton of advantage uh, when you have just so much going on. Bit of surprise um, factor. Also, a lot of what I did this weekend was I would open Stratos and Rota. So I would do my normal Stratos, normal summon, and plays whatever, and then I would Rota this. Um, ahead of time and just like have my opponent worry about it um, even if it wasn't like the play I was going for and then they would be thinking about this and then they just get like Caius or something which was uh, really nice came up a lot I think uh, having people just scared of that card uh, on the spells pretty the glue much needed that yeah the glue of the whole deck triple miracle you know what that do uh, one MST one heavy uh, there's there's just a lot of spell and trap hate for this deck. Like you want to hit masks, you want to hit oppressions, uh, D Fisher and Necrophaly if you see that, which I did. Um, yeah, three upstart is also my uh, my thing for this deck. I think it's huge. Um, really, the thing about it is I see a lot of people playing it in this deck, but kind of playing it wrong. I think um, where they'll just see it and play it, and I don't think that's correct. I think this card gets so much better in this deck when you start thinning by like, you get the double surge off Stratos because you're swapping it back, or you've done the dupe block and you get all the frogs gone. Once all the frogs gone, this card says like, add Caius to your hand, you know? It's like, you play this and you're drawing Miracle Fusion or Caius, once the frogs are all gone. So it's like, you can hold this and it can even be discard fodder, like if you really need, like it's it's not worth giving your opponent a thousand life points until it is, you know? Um, then we got uh, Brain Control, just like the best card in the format. It wins wins games alone. Just Brain Control Caius is like game most of the time. Uh, E-Call, Rota, we just really want to see Stratos uh, as much as possible. 
one for one to get in the substitute needed. And then today, uh, I mean yesterday, I wanted to go with a little more traps than I usually do. So I'm usually on two regeki, one trap dust shoot. I added in two threatening roar. Um, this came up so much, protecting a ocean to add back stratos. Um, this, a lot of times I would soft dupe lock because I only had two like available monsters. So like setting this up and then if they're trying to out it with like brain control or something, threatening roar just shuts that all down. So that this came up a lot. Um, it also goes really well with some of the stuff in my side that I'll talk about in a second. Uh, one of the extra deck for heroes, you got one Gaia. Uh, just because I am on Super Poly, and then it can also be Miracle Fusion with like uh, Malicious Edge and stuff. Uh, free up Zero, must have, you know, you're playing the Water Hero deck. Uh, Seekros is just a really standard lineup. Armory Arm, Eriquizus, Goyo, Android, Black Rose, Thought Ruler. I haven't made this in weeks, but it, I'm sure it'll come up. Colossal, Stardust, Frio. This is like, you're, these are the ones you're going into most of the time. Like these are the synchros that come up the most for me. Um, sometimes Black Rose and Android, but it's just like Junk Synchron makes these so easy. And like I OTK'd a, multiple games with this. People don't remember this card exists, but Swap Frog has a thousand attack. If you put a Swap Frog on the field with this, it's 33, it's crazy. Um, it's a lot of damage. Yeah. So one thing, are we not on uh, Future Fusion? We are not on Future Fusion. I was doing Future Fusion Dandy for Gaia to get the tokens and Swap Frog. It just, it's it's like Trap Dust Shoot where it's like, you see this turn one and it's amazing, or you don't and it's really lackluster, but Trap Dust Shoot is so much better. So I found myself justifying Trap Dust Shoot, but I couldn't justify Future Fusion as much because a lot of times I was just drawing it on turn like 10 and it wasn't doing anything. Um, Makes sense. So for side deck, I'm on two Dust Tornado, just because, again, we need to hit Oppressions, we need to hit Mask of Restrict, we need to hit D Fisher and Necro Valley, which for whatever reason came up. Uh, two Compulse, this card's really good. Um, every time you side this in, it has, you know, two uh, points of value where it's like really good against like value matchups just to pounce back the Armwing, because you don't want them to have Armwing and Grave to just value again later, usually. Um, but it's also just like, Sometimes you can, they'll just try to Lightning Vortex and like a Dragon matchup or something, you can compulse your Caius, use it again, uh, that came up. Uh, we're on Torrential and Mirror Force in the side with frogs. So this is also coming up in Threatening Roar. Most frog players don't play these at all just because we're not trap heavy, because we want Treeborn to come back. But if your opponent sees you setting Threatening Roars, um, game one, and then you set a Torrential, game two, and they go, that's a Threatening Roar and you flip Torrential, uh, that's usually a game, right? Um, so that was my thought process there. It worked out really well in a lot of games. Um, same thing with Mirror Force. They usually think it's a Threatening Roar or a Dust Tornado and they just want to clear the Threatening Roar. So they're going Battle Phase and then attacking anyway when I don't do anything for whatever reason, getting Mirror Forced. Um, really, really nice, came up a lot. I'm running one Sirocco um, for the Blackwing and Bayou matchup just for like OTK stuff. I'm only on one because it was the same uh, thought process with like upstarts and thinning the deck so much like you'll see it yeah. uh, unless it's the bottom card of your deck then you just lose but like odds of that you know i'll deal with it um uh, we got two vanities for like almost every matchup in edison right um you know this kills bayou the mirror match is just the mirror match in frogs is who draws this first um, yeah very <laughs> um then we're on breaker this was the MVP of the day. Uh, going second, this card's insane. Uh, this contests Hamsters, this contests Alias, Stratos, Ryo. Um, and then if it doesn't, you pop it back row for free. Um, it just runs over like most of the meta. And um, yeah, just really, really nice card to have going second. Um, it, it, every time I saw it, it was more than useful. We're on one DD Crow. Um, I, I, I'm coming off of this card more and more every, every event I go to just because it it feels like it doesn't do enough, right? Um, in the hero matchup, they always have another target for Miracle. In the Bayou, they always have another Bayou or Sirocco. Bayou is like the one that comes up most against, but it's like, you're not stopping like Blizzard with this or anything. Sometimes in Zombies, that it is really nice for the, you know, uh, getting those targets on one Super Poly, um, mostly for the Mirror and also for the hero matchup. Same thing with Soroka, these one-ofs, power cards. It's like, you'll see them when you're thinning your deck and upstarting. Um, same thing with one Smashing Ground. 
this is just to like kind of bring stuff like Regeki Break and that kind of thing like up to more cards because you just need to out like Christia or Vanity Fiend or something. Makes sense. And then two Soul Exchange, I, I just side these in when I see that I want Vanities. Um, usually like Ariza will come out sometimes unless it's a where I really a deck where I really want to use Soul Exchange to out stuff. But like Soul Exchange Christia for Vanities is like so nice. So this usually comes in together. But um, that's the deck. My matchups were round one. I played the uh, Rock Fiend Dark Gaia deck. Um, two, a uh, two-one that I, I just didn't know what they were playing, and I got OTK game one. But I didn't let it happen in games two and three. Uh, then I played Dragon Turbo. Uh, I think I two-owed that. Then was uh, a Frog Mirror, and I got that one. Um, we just vanities back and forth, and game three was super grindy. But I just uh, I had a vanities longer, so I won. Um, then round four, I played. I don't remember round four. I think I have it written down. But I played a zombie deck round five. Um, that was my first loss. And then I played my teammate, Sasha, round six. And that was a mirror. It was a nail biter, but he got that one. And then top eight, I uh, played Black Wings. And I lost that one. But that was, and that was the end of my tournament run. But um, yeah, six rounds of Swiss. 4-2 uh, at the end of Swiss. Took my last two losses and the last two rounds against uh, zombies. Which is definitely uh, the hardest matchup I found for this deck. And then uh, my teammate Sasha in the mirror match, just because, you know, Vanities is a card. But uh, yeah, it was a really good run. The deck performed really well. Not a ton of changes I would make. Maybe cutting DD Crow for something else more impactful. But uh, I really like the main deck. I am thinking about maining Mirror Force. But yeah, that's it. Thanks. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.